hey guys welcome back so in this today video i am going to talk about exception in java right so we need to understand what is exception in java and when this exception will come right so we'll go through each and every uh, point and we'll try to understand now what happens is whenever there is any exception in the program your pro the execution of program will stop and it will not execute if exceptions are not handled okay so in your program whenever you write any java program uh, there can be multiple exceptions which might come on the runtime and if you have not handled those exceptions your program will terminate and your program execution will stop right so basically if somebody will ask you what is exception so exceptions is uh, nothing but is the event that occurs during the execution of program right and uh, that disrupt the normal flow of instructions example divided by zero array access out of bound etc right in java exception is an object okay this is very uh, important point exception is an object that wraps an error event that occur within a method and contains information about the error including its type very important information so what happens is whenever there is any uh, exception in the program this your jvm what it will do is these exceptions will get wrapped into the exceptions object which means exception is a class without class you cannot wrap the exception into the object and this exception object will have the error which happens on the runtime and the information about the error and what is the type of error all right so let's say uh, if you look at here there is a class called a and the class has a method called test1 method now in the test1 method you have four line of code right so when you have four lines of code and let's say uh, what happens here is uh, you will get some uh, you will get exception here right when you will get exception here so what will happen your program will get terminated here itself okay it will get terminated here itself and this two last line will not get executed that's what happened in the exception right if it is not handled if it is handled then we'll see that what will happen if the exceptions are handled but when there is a no exceptions handling in your uh, method then your program will stop then and there and it will come out of the method okay so that's what the exception is all about now we need to understand uh, what is this exception class and how the hierarchy of this exceptions has been defined so if you look at here okay this is the pictorial representations of your uh, exceptions and the hierarchy so whenever there is exception in your class there are two kind of exceptions one is runtime and one is compile time right so these are the runtime the runtime means the exceptions which occurs the exceptions which occur when you run the program right that we call it as runtime exceptions so whatever you are seeing that arithmetic exceptions uh, null pointer number format array index out of bounds so these are the exceptions which will come only on the runtime the runtime means when you are running the program these exceptions uh, might come right then what is compile time the compile time means the moment you will write the program the compiler will ask you to handle these kind of exceptions like input output exceptions sql exceptions class not found exceptions so whenever you have this kind of exceptions in your program that compiler itself will tell you to handle this kind of exceptions at the compile time itself this guy will come on the runtime so we don't have control but this can uh, this will come at the compile time right now this runtime extends exception class exception is the class in java okay and this exception class will extends throwable so throwable is another class in the java this this, this guy is the parent class again uh, apart from exceptions what can happen in your program is there could be error in your program right so the error is the one which you cannot handle once the error will come your jvm will crash and uh, you cannot recover your program so error means when you have a stack overflow right when you have a virtual machine error and when you have out of memory error 
right so whenever you have this kind of error you cannot recover there is no way you can recover recover but in case of exceptions yes you can recover if you have exceptions handling in your program we will see that how this handling will happen here we will try to understand this is a hierarchy of your exceptions like runtime extends exception exception extends throwable even the error this error extends throwable okay and the error is nothing but your step uh, that stack out of uh, overflow virtual uh, machine error and out of memory error whereas uh, the compile time error is the input output sql class not form so these are the some example i have given here okay you will have lot more you will have lot more uh, compile time you have lot more runtime exceptions you will have lot more error but here i have given some examples so that you know you can memorize this and you can understand how the hierarchy has been decided right so uh, i think this diagram is clear in next video i will talk about how these exceptions comes in the program and how you can handle this thank you guys thank you for watching this